Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had an amazing week. This week I got such an exciting PR package from Miss Selena Gomez herself. Rare Beauty launched some new lippies and liners and this collection is called the Kind Words Collection. So let me show you guys what it looks like. This is a dream, okay? Like when I got this package, first of all, just to be receiving packages from Rare Beauty, I am so, so, so grateful. And this is what, like, all of these are new shades. I've already tested them out. I couldn't wait. I'm not gonna lie. But there are so many really great wearable shades in this collection. And I am gonna be swatching them all on my lips today. So I have a feeling by the end of this video, my lips are gonna not really be that happy with me. But I'm doing it for you guys, okay? It's for a greater good. <laughs> There's this beautiful handout. As, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I'm also a graphic designer. So when I have, when I get packages and I feel like the beautiful, like silky stock of paper that they used and everything, like it's just very, a lot of attention to detail, which I really appreciate. But there's something important that I thought was worth mentioning. Um, whenever you purchase anything from Rare Beauty, 1% of Rare Beauty sales are donated to the Rare Impact Fund to increase access to mental health services for young people, which I think is really amazing. Selena Gomez is killing it. And even the work, like, the fact that this is called the Kind Words Collection and the names of all of these, the shades are really, really strategic and she was really mindful when she did it. Like for example, humble, worthy, uh, wise, bold, like the, the names of the colors are just really beautiful. And they also have um, like a lipstick with a liner to match. So I'm not gonna be trying all of the liners because some of them are just too, they're just not dark enough for my skin tone. I like to pair, for example, I'm wearing a nude today, but it has um, a deeper lip liner because that's the only way I can rock the nude for my skin tone and that's what works well for me. Again, do what suits you and whatever works best for you. So I'm probably gonna be going in like the deeper range of the liner, but the shades, we're gonna be trying all of them. So the lip liners are actually retractable. So I like that because sometimes it can be a real hassle sharpening them. And then especially when you're on the go, who has a sharpener with them on the go? So this one that I picked up is in the shade Wise. I'm just gonna overline just a little bit as I normally do on the top. And on the bottom, I'm gonna stay true to my natural lip line. I'm starting off with the shade Talented. By the way, this is how the packaging looks. It is so adorable. There's a flat edge here, so it's not gonna roll off the table. Very smart design. And then looking at the shade, it is just so pretty, but let's just try it on. So I feel like this type of shade is something that I could rock very easily on the daily. Uh, because I'm I am a nude queen we all know that but I'm gonna come in closer because in my last swatch video everyone was like move closer to the camera so I'm coming in a lot closer this time this shade is gorgeous it's one of my favorites from the collection obviously because in the nude range I'm here for this uh, so we're moving on to the next so again I lined with the shade wise and I'm popping on creative on my lips I think it's important to mention that these are really smooth and soft. They're like silky soft on the lips. And I've worn these out already because like I mentioned, I couldn't wait before filming this video. I had to test them out. I was impressed at the wear time on these and the color payoff is really gorgeous too. Of course, I am loving the nudes. We're off to a great start. I'm going in with the shade Lively. So this is more of a pinky tone, kind of popped into there. Really pretty shade. I do feel like this would look really, really nice with a pinky tone blush that matches. Today I'm wearing an orange blush, so it's kind of like not, it doesn't go the best with the current blush that I'm wearing, but regardless, the shade is still gorgeous. Here it is up close. Okay, now we're trying the shade Worthy. And again, I love the naming of these. Selena was so thoughtful with this. This shade is also really nice and wearable. I feel like I could rock it with a number of different eye looks. And I like 
soft pinky vibes and I feel like there's a little hint of some like a purplish tone in this and I am here for it. My nails are purple right now. Not the same exact vibe, but still, I really like this shade. If you notice that like the liner is not perfect or anything, keep in mind, I'm just putting it on to take it off, but I want you guys to get an idea of the color. This time I am lining with the shade Humble and we'll see if I need any help from a darker lip liner, but is that, as you can see, it's turning out a little bit light on me but we'll try it. We'll try and go with the flow. And also I want to say that these liners are really creamy. Sometimes with liners, you have to really struggle to get them on and that they could be dry on the lips. Like these are very creamy and they go on really smoothly. Like they glide on. I really appreciate that, but that not to say that they don't last long because they do last long because I've tested these. So I love that about it too. So now I'm going to go in with the matching lipstick in the shade humble. And I really love a matte, like a soft matte finish like this. Again, I could see this with the most gorgeous pink blush. I am lining with the shade Fun. I actually did it off camera and then remembered, wait, I have to do this on camera. But this again, gliding on, all of the shades glide on for me. I really, really love that. And I also feel like this little contraption here that you push is really, I appreciate that. It's so cute. So we're going in obviously with the matching shade. I don't know where I'm looking. I'm like, do I look at myself? Do I look at my mirror? Which is down here. Here is the shade fun. And you know what? It's pretty fun. <laughs> it kind of has like an orangey tone to it to me or on my skin tone it's picking up a little bit more orange really cute shade like i i'm here for this shade i feel like it actually looks nice with my look today it's going really nicely with this vibe so i'm now lining with my go-to liner in this video it's the shade wise again and i feel like this shade can go with a lot of the, the lipsticks that I tried on, as you can see. And it, it's one of those versatile, like I like a nice brownish, deeper lip liner that can go with everything. This has a little bit of like, I feel like there's a plummy vibe to it, but that's okay. So we're going in with the matching lipstick in the shade Wise. And it's very pretty. So now we're getting into, as you guys can see, we're getting into the deeper tones. And I love how deep she takes it. Like I could see me wearing these deeper tones as we go into the fall and, or even now some of them, but you'll see how deep it really gets. I could see myself wearing this with like a suit or something like a really nice blazer and like that kind of like a more serious businesswoman vibe. Like I love this. We're shade. getting into the bold colors and we know this because this shade is called bold. So I'm just going to line. This shade is really gorgeous. Let me show you. Trying not to do a sloppy job. I'm just so excited to show this one. It's one of my favorite reds in the collection. So we're going in now with the bold lipstick. Look at that shade. And let me just swatch it for you. It just looks so pretty. And oh my goodness, my my cheeks are popping out with this shade. It's so pretty. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot. I don't wear color like on the daily. Usually I'm a nude person, but if I was to rock a reddish tone, this would be the one that I'm going to rock next because it's just it's just stunning. And it's not like bam in your face it's like a wearable red in with the shade gifted and now it's about to get a little bit more moody in here i usually like to do like a little bit of a thick line when i'm lining so there's no bleed or anything like that have a look at this shade already you can tell so pretty. 
it's kind of like a berry-ish shade. But this is right up my alley. As I was mentioning, there's shades that I feel like would be really good to wear into the fall. This is one of them. And these are so soft on the lips. Like I can't get over the formulation of these. They're so, so incredibly soft yet long wearing. So I don't know what they did, but whatever they did, it worked. The next shade is gonna have you shook. We are going in with the shade Strong and this liner. So we're gonna use, oh, I think I have a little bit of the leftover liner on there. It's okay, this shade is strong enough to cover it. Not my cheesy jokes though. You guys are used to me at this point. But look how that glides. Like I, there are other deeper lip liners that I have that are kind of like a chore to get on the lip. Like you have to really struggle with it. And the, these just, all the shades glide on. When you see this shade, just wait on it. Look at the pigment too, eh? And this is the shade strong. I would definitely rock this in fall, winter. This type of shade used to be my jam, like my major jam. Um, I had this MAC one, I forget what it was called. Not Night Moth, it was a different one. Shoot, I forget what it was, but I was like such a fan of it. It's kind of reminding me of that, but it has a little bit more berry in it, which I am so here for with the right blush. I feel like today I shouldn't have worn an orange blush. Like I love orange, but for this shade, I'm like, I would switch it up. And that is it guys, we swatched all 10 shades. Um, my lips, I was worried that my lips were really gonna be in pain by now, but they're actually doing quite well because I used micellar water to take off the lipstick rather than just wiping them. I've made that mistake before. <laughs> so we're in good shape. And again, thank you so much for watching guys. I post every single Sunday, so don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna post my most recent video here for you guys to check out and I will see you guys next week.